What's up, Exeter? Is this your boy, Goat? And Renee. And me. <laughs> and Audrina and Kira. <laughs> Today, we've exited off Disney's Hollywood Studios here in Orlando, Florida. So we're attempting the Lightning Lane Genie Plus again. This time, we're actually gonna get here right at, well, it's a few minutes after hey. rope after drop. Nine. But we did get up at seven and go ahead and book our first uh, ride, which is going to be Aerosmith. Yeah. Nine twenty-five. So once we scan the magic bands on that ride, we can book the next one. And I did go ahead and book um, the Mickey and Minnie. Because you actually have to buy it. You have to yeah. pay. That one and Rise of the Resistance are there fancy rides here that you have to pay for and you can't book with your lightning lane. So I went ahead and did that one and I checked for as the resistance, but it said it was temporarily down and wouldn't let me book. So the goal for today is everything that we do and get on, we're only going to use lightning lane. Yeah, so there are 13 things total on the lightning lane list for this park that you can do. So we're only going to shoot for 12 though, because I'm not about to go to the kids dance party yeah i mean yeah. Our kids are too big and we're too old <laughs> so that's go like we won't get on any ride or show or anything unless we booked it through the lightning lane just to see if we can actually get everything done in the day using it yeah so you can get your money's worth yeah so no booking one and then jumping in a standby line to wait while we wait on our time no strictly Lightning lane only to get on stuff. So, all right, here we go. Join us on this adventure. So we're in the park. Thank you very much, sir. Exactly. The sun shines. Now you're a yeah. Currently walking towards Aerosmith. Since, like we said, that is our first lightning lane time right now. So you got an hour to do it from, we have from 9.25 to 10.25, but since we're only doing lightning lanes, we're trying to scan at our very first time, so at 9.25, as close as we can get. That way, it's faster for us to open up the ability to book another one versus like, oh, we got till 10.25 because every time you scan, you can book again. So a lot of people's doing that. It means we're gonna run out of time. So. All right. See you guys up there. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're off of Aerosmith. Walk right on. Now, next lightning lane is for Toy Story Mania, which is in about 50 minutes. So the first available we could get, or Renee could get, because she didn't ride Aerosmith, so she was doing it while we were on the ride. First available is like 1040. So 1040. Of any ride. Of any ride. Other than like the little saucer things and Toy Story, which I'm sure you could probably get one of those pretty easily. Yeah. Or the shows we could get pretty easily. So I'm kind of was trying to go for more of the more popular rides to kind of get those done first. There you go. All about strategy and planning. And when Renee don't ride the rides, she has to strategize and plan. That's her job. All right, so now we're headed over here to the Sci-Fi Diner to see if we can get on the waiting list because I used to work at this restaurant, but we've never actually eaten at this restaurant because it's always freaking booked. Like, always. Like, you can never find a reservation for it. But we're going to see if we can get on the waiting list. All right, so we came over to Sci-Fi drive-in, yeah. or my bad, Sci-Fi dine-in. Yeah. It's different and of course they're not open yet, so back. we can't see if we can get on the walk-in list. So we gotta wait uh, about 30 more minutes till good grief. Uh, 
uh, 30 more minutes till 10:30. Uh, then hopefully we can sign up for the walk-in. <laughs> Kiki wants to say hey. Hello. Okay. As you can see behind me, we got a car. Uh, Sci-fi diner, dine-in. So there you go. We're waiting. Okay, so we were able to get into the sci-fi dining restaurant. Had, had some trouble remembering that name. <laughs> yeah, because I keep wanting to say sci-fi drive-in, but a sci-fi dining theater restaurant. Anyway, um, should have about four or five more minutes. Unfortunately, we don't get to sit and eat at the cool kids' table in the nice convertible cars, but... At least we get to try the food. We get, yeah, at least we get to eat here. This so. is one of the most popular restaurants here. Yeah. But at least we got in. That's all that matters. <laughs> and ever since we've, like, sat here, we've, like, drawn the car off, like, so much because everybody thought it was open, so everybody kept stopping. Yep. And this is kind of the setup of what you would get in the car. This right here, nice convertible car, white walls, but it has a table in it. This is just one they have outside that you can get your picture taken in. It's a nice 50s looking convertible, which you would get to eat in if you had a reservation, which reservations are undoubtedly impossible to get. She agrees, even though she's not paying attention. <laughs> well, there was one last night for eight fifty-five, but she didn't book it. We could have already ate here at eight fifty-five, but she ain't book it. So we made it into the sci-fi dining theater, as you can see. We're sitting at the picnic tables, but you can see the cars. They hold six people, two per row, or, well, that one does. So you have two people in the stretch. What am I getting? Each with a table in front of you. This one has, will hold four. You can see the playing old movies on the big screen. Everything lit up. Nice starry night outside. Enjoy a uh, old movie and get some good food. Okay, so our food's here. Okay, so, okay, so. Kira gave cheeseburger and fries, and they gave her like all of this stuff because she's such a picky eater. Put on the side. I got the drive-in barbecue um, hamburger. I did. I got one of your plain burger. Look at it. People are gonna be so amazed by that. And, fries. and Renee got the seared chicken wait, 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 pasta. I got this. Hey, there we go. Okay. It looks like so a we're gonna enjoy, and we'll see you guys a little bit later. So we're through with our meal. Headed to Toy Story. We have. It was so good. Ten minutes. So so good. There. Yeah. It was definitely I would worth. suggest that restaurant to come here. It's like the coolest looking restaurant I've ever been in. Yeah. So we're in Toy Story Mania. We made it. Ten minutes to spare on our ticket of time. While we're walking in, Renee is going to go ahead and uh, start booking our next lightning lane. Because, you know, you got to... Uh, you got to stay on top of it. If you want to be able to do everything with the lightning lane, while we're doing the lightning lane only, as soon as you scan your band in for the one that you're scheduled for, you got to go ahead and find another one quick because they fill up so freaking fast. It's ridiculous at how fast they do. Okay, so we're off out of Toy Story Mania. They can't see you, but you're too short. Sure. I sure would. Now we are going to the Frozen sing along show, I think. She looked back at you. Uh, Frozen Ever After. Oh, that wasn't me. Uh, it's a show. That's a good one to get. So we're doing everything Disney Plus. And that includes shows. 
outside. I'm doing two rides. Two rides. We've eaten really good food. You're slowing down. Now we're going to a show, and it's 10 till 12, so it's not even noon yet. Been in the park roughly two and a half hours until we got here a little after it opened. Oh, it was almost 9.30. Okay. Um, that being said, on to the show. So, I think for me and Kiki, this is probably our favorite part. I think Renee's favorite part. What's your favorite part? Part? Yeah. It used to be uh, Magic Kingdom, but I think I'm starting to like Epcot more. Okay, so she's got Epcot. Hey, Dad, what's your favorite part? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which one? This one or Magic Kingdom? You gotta pick one. Alright, so Audrina's, she likes Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. But I told her she's got to pick one for a favorite. All-time favorite, got to pick one. She picks Magic Kingdom, and they've got Epcot. I've got Hollywood Studios. What's it going to be, favorite part? Oh, uh -huh. has got uh, Hollywood Studios also. So, there you go. Ooh, that's the last one. So, for you guys, after you go and subscribe, and after you give us a thumbs up, and after you ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section. Top three Marvel heroes. Okay, top three. Don't have to be in any order, just top three. And give us your top three uh, Marvel villains, if you can, and your top three Marvel anti-heroes. If you don't know what anti-hero is, it's someone that's neither good nor bad. So, for an example, that would be Deadpool or Venom. Some, you know. So, give us a top three of each of those categories in the comment section. <laughs> Walking in, somebody bumped into me and they said, Ooh, sorry, sir. Stuff is dreamy. Hey, Eric is dressed like an elf. <laughs> and people are laughing at him. Oh, now he's mad. Oh, he's an angry elf. Oh, <laughs> get a square carbon and a stick. Oh, I'm gonna turn it into a toy. Oh, 28 days. Oh, month long candy, that's what they should call it. Until we got in because the camera that we're currently using the lens can't get wet otherwise it's shot for like the rest of the day it's going to take all day for it to uh, dry out so otherwise we would have shown you a little something after so we're we'll start tours after that she's looking we don't know yet so far, two shows and now three rides. Three rides, two shows so far. Four rides, two shows. One or the other. Anyway, it's 140. Not doing too bad. Okay, so we are now using the Lightning Lane Plus that we actually bought. 
Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And so far, this is the last of our lightning passes. have to keep basically Renee and I have to keep refreshing the app because it's constantly changing yeah like she saw a 210 window for Tower of Terror by the time I clicked on all of our names it was gone I think we're and this one we're still going to have to wait a good little bit because even after you get through with the pre-show, you're still in a separate line. Yeah. So I bet you we're still waiting in line for this one at least 10, 15 minutes. Oh, hiya, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? Okay. Excuse me. You later. Oh, hey. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here? Right. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this exit. The <laughs> pole <laughs> so, all up in your okay, face. So, if you can't tell, we're under an umbrella because it's pouring out. It's still raining. Like, I checked the weather and it said at 4 o'clock it was supposed to go down to like 20%. No. That 20% is very very accurate it's here the 20% is here so it's been raining since what two o'clock yeah it's been a while and now it's getting cold yeah. so we're gonna call this exit uh as far as the genie goes we've done all we can do with it yeah we didn't get to do uh rise of the resistance which we knew we weren't gonna do that because they're only letting hotel guests stay in our property be the first ones to book that and so by the time the park actually opened all the hotel guests had taken all of the lightning lane passes so we knew we weren't going to get to do that without standing in line so not counting that we only didn't get to slinky dog and uh, millennium falcon smuggler run but we did everything else we did all we the other rides little, um, salsa ride yeah i don't count that because it makes me sick I'm not getting on that. I'm not getting on that. It spins and it makes so me sick. So technically, we could get that one in because there is a lightning lane yeah. pass still available for that one in like an hour or so. But it's just miserable here. My feet are soaking wet. Mine too. It squishes every time I walk. We have toughed it out for like... Almost four hours in the rain now. Yeah. Just this umbrella for all of us to fall in. We didn't bring rain jackets. We didn't know we were going to rain. Okay, Oh my gosh. So that's not bad. We did two shows and all of the all of the rides except for two, not counting rides of resistance. Because you actually have to buy that one. You, you can't just get it through the regular. Yeah, you can't get it through the regular Genie Plus. You actually have to buy it or stand in line. So, not counting that, we didn't do two rides. So, that's not so bad. It's definitely cool. more beneficial. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So to speak, you just gotta know how to like get through it. Yeah. Use your time well with it. Constantly play with it throughout the day because their app like glitches or something. Yeah. Like you can just like pull it down and reload it, refresh it or whatever, and the times will change. So sometimes when you think you can't get an earlier spot, you just keep trying and refreshing and refreshing. You can't. Yeah. The only thing is when you do reserve your spot, you cannot alter that spot. You have to completely cancel and then redo another one. So you might risk losing the spot that you think you know you got. Like, for example, the first thing he initially booked this morning was Tower of Terror because we knew that it had a long wait. And it was like at 11 a.m. or something and we'll get to the park at 9. I was like, no, I mean, that's two hours of downtime. We've got to be able to do something at 9 o'clock when we get here. That's why I canceled it and did the Aerosmith ride. So 
and it almost ended up biting us in the butt because all day it was saying no available lightning lanes for Tower of Terror until he was able to get one of course right away. But I was able to get one. So even she ain't got the fastest fingers in Orlando no more. Even though you think you might not get one, just keep checking throughout the day. It changes constantly. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That does it for us on this exit. Hope you enjoyed our adventure. See you guys down the road at the next exit. Later. Bye.